2001 Chevy S10 4.3 liter Vortec uh, rear end differential is 7.625 inch ring gear 3.08 axle ratio complete tear down and reassemble all right uh, these are the one carriage braces they're left and right orientated I'll just set that out of the way all right that's too low Anywho, now the ring gear should just pull right out a little bit of force. Come on. No, it's not. It's... Those come out. Careful not to drop anything. And you got two shims. One on this side, one on the other that I took out with it. You put them shims in there, or were they the other shim? No, they're the original. This here. All right, this is the carriage assembly, all completely out. You have your outer race on top of your bearing cup that's pressed on, one on either side, and you've got these shims. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure this because we're going to end up using these shim packs because the the gear pattern is wrong. So I'll show you how to measure these. All right, to measure thickness, we need a digital digital caliper such as this. I'm going to hold that and just make sure that the uh, just drive your hand up through. There. Yeah. Yep. It's already recording. Yeah. And just make sure that you can see it. That's all. All right, so these you just turn them on. If it doesn't say zero, you zero it off. Use this wheel here, open and close. So what we're going to do is measure the left-hand side, or the driver's side, thickness. We end up with 2.3. So we should write that down so that we know. And then we got to build a shim pack of the same thickness. we have here is a piece of paper to write down 2.3 thousands. I believe that's what it was. We'll just double check. Now it's recording. All right, All right so we got to zero this off because a little movement took it off. So we're back to zero. Driver's side. Sorry. It's two, it's actually two, three hundred, which is supposed to be, I don't know, that three hundred is supposed to be three thousandths of an inch. Anyways, this is the driver's side. This is the passenger side one, which is a little thicker. So keep that in note. It may be different. All right, you can hit that button. Bounce. Something like that. All right, so digital caliper measurements. All right, so we've already measured and marked our left side and our right side. Now what we're going to do is take this shim pack that come with a overhaul kit, and we've already pre-measured and marked all of them. I'm not going to show you them all, but they're all marked. Now we got to take this and make that number out of these shim packs. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add them up and do some math, and I'll be right back. What the hell's wrong with my camera? The fucking shutter won't open. You don't have it on. Yeah, it screens this side. All right, so we're back. Once again, we started with the measurement of 0 0.2300. And we ended up building it out of a shim pack. We used the 1.050.
and a 1.050 and a 0075 another 0075 and a 0055 or 0 0.6 anywho and you add them all together you make sure that's zeroed off and you throw these in here oh, I'm going to fall over and you get your measurement 0 0.2300 so this shim pack is for the left side now we can start taking some thousands of an inch from the left and start putting it on the right because we're going to have to move the ring gear all right all right so the original shim that we cannot take any thousands of an inch from we had to recreate out of a shim pack now ideally we're going to take a couple of these from this thickness, the original thickness, which is this, and we're going to take some of these and add it to this so we can move the ring gear to the left. You'll see that with the gear pattern I'm about to show you. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check bearing preload. Bearing preload is the amount of resistance used for rotation. So once we put this nut on here for the pinion shaft, and we have the yoke installed. Now there's no crush sleeve inside this, but we got to measure the force it takes to rotate this around. Well, if you want to come over here and hold this and I'll do it from the inside. Yeah, anywhere's is fine. You need the numbers, don't you? No, I don't need numbers or nothing. Alright, so this is an inch pound torque wrench, and this is going to measure how much. How much force for rotation? Let's see if it's enough. And it's not. We're not even measuring two pounds. We need it to about 12 before we can start doing measurements. So, we have to tighten that nut here a little bit. And then we got to put that torque wrench back on and measure until we get to about 12 pounds to rotate this. And then we'll know that the bearings are preloaded. And then we can throw the uh, carriage back in and we can paint it up, check the ring gear pattern. Press the button. All right. Yes. Okay. Now that we got that ins installed, the pinion's in there. Uh, both races, inner and outer. We got that set to about 12 inch pounds for rotation. Uh, we installed this and torqued them down to spec. These bolts here. Makes everything sit right. And we put them two factory shims back in. And now we're about to uh, mark uh, the ring gear teeth and check a gear pattern. All right. Here you can see I'm painting the teeth. Doing the, uh, I believe this is the coast side right now. And then we will do the drive side right now as well, which is the underside. Sorry, I'm not even filming it. Make sure that they're both done. So we. No, no, I only do about eight, which is, uh, about a fifth of the whole circle because there's 40 teeth. So, gear this up with some paint. This is my first time filming and working at the same time. My word, do you ever need three hands? Just making sure that the pattern will show up good. Not too many brush strokes in it. All right, there we go. Ready for our first gear pattern. All right, um, if you want to turn it, turn it that way. With my hand? Turn it overhead this yeah, way. That way. Yep. With my hand? Yep, with your hand. 
Keep going. Keep going. All right, hold on now. All right, now. Yeah, there is. All right, on the drive side, we got a tooth pattern right there. See, we're not definitely in the center. And then on the coast side, want to rotate the other way? way? Yeah. And as you can see, all these teeth. Yeah, right there. All right. And then we're in the uh, toe here versus this is the toe. This is the heel. Mm -hmm. Can you see where I'm pointing? Yeah. Okay. Well, on the coast side, it's coming up as the toe. And if you rotate it that way a little bit. Yeah, keep going. Right here on the drive mm -hmm. side, we're on the heel. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go and check the, uh, the book here. And I'll show everybody what, what you need to know here.